Good morning, students. Today we are going to uh, solve some numericals based on EMF equation of transformer. So first numerical is a 10 kV transformer having 50 turns on primary and 10 turns on secondary is connected to 440 volt 50 hertz supply. Calculate first is secondary voltage, second full load primary and secondary currents, and third is maximum value of flux in the core. So first uh, we have uh, uh, write the data, whatever is given in the question. So, the data given in the question is a 10 kV transformer is rating of the transformer is 10 kV. Rating of transformer is 10 kV means 10 into the power 3 volt ampere. Uh, having 50 turns on primary means we uh, it's given a number of turns in primary and one is 50 and 10 turns on secondary side means N2. We have given the uh, number of turns in secondary side is 10. So N1 is 50 and N2 is 10. It's connected to 440, 40, 440 volt supply means the primary voltage we have to apply on uh, primary side is 440 volt. 50 hertz supply means frequency is given 50 hertz. Okay, this data is given in the question. Calculate we have to find secondary voltage means we have to find V2. Full load primary and secondary current means we have to find the value of I1 and I2 and maximum value of flux means we have to find out the value of maximum flux. Okay, so we uh, find the first value that is secondary voltage. As we know that the ratio of voltage is V1 by V2 in the transformer is equal to the number of turns means n1 by n2 okay we have given number of turns n1 is equal to 50 and 2 is equal to 10 and v1 is the 440 volt so we can obtain the value of v2 so what is the value of v2 is equal to so v1 into n2 divided by n1 we can put the value of V1 440 and 2 10 and N 150. We can find the value of V2. Okay, this is the value of V2. We can uh, we can solve very easily with the help of this equation. Next is full load primary current. Means we have to calculate the value of I1. The formula of full load primary current is volt ampere. into V1. Okay, rating of transformer in volt ampere upon V1. So what is the value of volt ampere? 10 into 10 to the power 3 upon V1. What is the value of V1? 440 volt. So this is the value of I1. You can calculate through the calculator. So you can uh, give the value of I1. And what is the value of I2? I2, the value of I2 is a uh, rating of transformer in VA upon V2. Okay, so what is the value of VA? VA is already given in the question uh, 10 into 10 to power 3. And what is the value of V2? We have uh, just recently find the value of V2. So we put the value of VA and V2 and we get the value of I2. Third is maximum value of flux in the code. So from the EMF equation of the transformer, we can the value of flux. 
So what is the value of? So what is the equation of a one equation transformer? E is equal to four point four four by m n. Okay, this is the equation of uh, EMF equation of transformer. Uh, so we can put the value of E1 that is E1 is approximately equal to V1. Okay, so E1, this is the V40, the value of V1 is equal to 440 volt. Okay, we have given the value of frequency. Um, uh, given the value of n1 prime, number of turns in primary and the value of v1 we can find out easily the value of phi m so what is the value of phi m phi m is equal to u1 upon from this formula we can find the value of phi m v1 upon 4.44 f n1 Put the value of E1, F, N1, we get the value of phi m. So, what is the value of V2? So, V2 is 88 volt. This is the answer. We can calculate through the calculator. I have already um, solved the numericals. Uh, I1 is 22.72 and I2 is 113.63 and the maximum value of flux comes 39.6396 milli. And this is the answers of this question. Okay, you can check the answer. Next is, the second question is, a single phase transformer has 350 primary and 1050 second returns means we have given number of primary turns is 350 and 1050 second returns means the value of N2 is given 1050. Okay. The primary is connected to 440 volt means V1 is 400 volt, sorry, 400 volt and frequency is 50 hertz. Okay. The net cross section area of the core is we have. Uh, uh, here, uh, the cross-sectional cross area of the core is given, that is area of core is equal to 50 centimeters square. We have to convert in meters square, so 50 into 10 power minus 4 meter square. So calculate the maximum value of flux density in the core. So we have to find out the maximum value of flux density means we have to find out the value of Vm and the secondary EMF in the secondary winding means V2, the value of V2. We have to find out these two values, okay? So, first we find the value of maximum flux density. So, the formula of maximum flux density is equal to flux per unit area, pi m by A. We uh, know the value of area of the core, but we don't have uh, right now the value of flux. So we can calculate calculate first the value of phi m. So uh, in previous question, we have find the value of flux by with the help of the equation, EMF equation. So even is equal to 4.44 F phi m and we can uh, calculate the value of phi m from this equation. We know the value of E1. We know the value of f and n1. We can easily find out the value of phi m. So from phi m, if we get the value of phi m, we can put the value of phi m here divided by a. We can get the value of v m. Next is the induced EMF in the secondary winding. We know the EMF uh, ratio of v1 by v2 is equal to N1 by N2, we have given both the number of turns N1 by N2, 350 by 1050. Uh, we have the value of V1 is 400 volt. We can easily 
obtain the value of V2. Okay. So, the answer is the maximum value of intensity in the core is 1.09296 Weber per meter square. Uh, as we know that P is equal to flux per unit area. The unit of flux is Weber and the unit of uh, area is meter square. So the unit of flux density is Weber per meter square. So this is the answer of this question. And the second question, the, the uh, answer of secondary binding is E2 is equal to 1200 volt. So this is the answer. You can check the answer. So this is, it is the numerical based on the unification. Okay, so thank you so much.